Hello, everybody. Welcome back to How Do We Get Down a Staircase? I mean, Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition. With me, Elmeron. This uh, video is going up a little bit late. Um, how did I? That's the arrow keys that scroll. The, the WASD don't actually do anything. That's right, because wizard.w. Yeah, okay. Uh, remembering how the game works. Um, it's been a week or more, more than a week since I last recorded. Um, it's been, um, I had a, had a bit of a rough week. It's been one of those weeks where I'm struggling with motivation, um, kind of in a bit of a depression flare-up. Um, I'm getting, I'm mostly past it at this point, so I'm feeling better. And honestly, recording an episode will help me feel even better because I'll be doing something that I want to be doing, which is important, right? Helps you feel good about yourself to make progress on the things you want to make progress on. So, um, I would think for, probably for the rest of this game, I'm definitely going to be down to one video a week. Um, unless I start, un unless I can really get out of this, um, kind of low motivation state I've been in, um, for the last little while. Uh, so, you know. That's what you can expect Certainly. once a, one, one a week, two, either Tuesday or Thursday. I'll aim for Tuesdays. Didn't really get very far in here, did I? Um, the advice when I was coming in here originally, trying to deal with um, the voice, was to hug the southeast, the wall to the south, and go east. Uh, and that should avoid a lot of the fighting, which I might still do, because that was a lot of fighting. Oh, hi. You have, um, okay. Go for it. Uh, yeah, so it's it's also part of it. It also is the uh, the issue I tend to have where oh hi, um, I'm towards the end of the game and I'm I'm running out of steam on it, and a lot of games are just a little bit longer than my attention span tends to be, which is unfortunate. Um, I wish my attention span was better. I sometimes wonder if I I have like ADHD or something, but my uh, my psychiatrist said no, you made it through school fine, so you definitely don't. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. But um, I I tend to have trouble finishing things. Um, see, for example, the pile of Warhammer miniatures that are on my desk right now um, that have been there for a couple of years because I was in a big mood to paint Warhammer miniatures for a while, and then. Um, I did like two regiments of wood elves and, and then lost it. Um, and it's a pain because I'm also running a D&D &D campaign and I haven't had a lot of motivation to work on it the last last two weeks. Um, so, anyway, uh, enough about my troubles. Um, we're playing a game. This is Brother Per Diem. Oh my god. I've been reading old Warhammer stuff from like the uh, the 80s and 90s, mostly the 90s. I, I got into it around 5th edition, which was in the 90s. Um, and they were starting to move towards more grimdark stuff for the fantasy as well as the... I mean, 40k has always been grimdark, but the fantasy was moving more in that direction um, starting in 6th edition. I guess it started that way and then it became less for 5th. But... Um, there's a lot of cheesy stuff in there, like the names of people are very cheesy a lot. They were just making, jo having jokes and stuff. So, per diem is like, by day, by the day. Like, your, your, your paycheck per diem is how much you make every day kind of thing. <laughs> so this is Brother Per Diem. Welcome to our humble church, disciples of suffering. I am Brother Per Diem, servant of Ilmeter. What brings you here today? Do you seek ecstasy at the hands of Ilmater's servants? Uh, uh, 
this temple is a mockery of all that Ilmutter stands for. I feel like, like, this is the, tr this is the smart answer, I feel. Um, this, but my paladin, I've discerned, uh, figured is, um, a paladin of Ilmutter, so it's a mockery. Our god is kind and forgiving. We are not. As servants of Ilmeter, it is our duty to strip all resistance to suffering from the bodies of believers and unbelievers alike. Once your resistance has been stripped away, you will weep in the arms of Ilmeter. Suffering is not a mandate from the church. It is not an end unto itself. Suffering is taken on for the sake of others. It is a means by which we can express charity and humility. All you are doing is inflicting suffering for its own sake. When your world is turned upside down, when your understanding of the universe is stolen from you, all you have left is faith. For my faith, all I can hold on to is law. It is this law we obey. It is all we can obey. This is why we follow Pokolin. What you're doing is wrong. You do not determine what is right and what is wrong. We Ilmaterians are synoptic. We see with one eye, one mind. We see with the eye of our god. If we lose our sight, we must follow one who can lead. Those who falter will be cast into the abyss to burn for their transgressions. Without Pokolin, our faith would die. It is all we can understand. I can leave no soul untouched, no nerve, un no nerve dulled. If you attempt to travel on this holy ground, you will face the servants of Ilmeter. My poor brothers were found spiritually lacking. Now they serve Ilmeter from beyond the grave. You have been warned, heathen. Uh, back to fighting these things, by the way. You have need of me, guys. Okay. But we had no milk. It was the summertime. I remember it. Mother was dressed in a black dress. The pious sun shone red upon us that day. All days are red now, and all the pretty ones are deep, deep in the Black Sea. You sound like you're not having a good time of it. found a toy. I don't know if you can hear him. He, uh, tends to shout a lot. Hey, Brother Harkin. C counter fam brace. Skitty scuttle skitty. Ratatiki tum till till skitty tum scuttle skitty. Precious father, give me the light and the skittle scuttle mother misery. It's like something's very wrong here. I mean, obviously, but... Attack! You guys are not very fast. I'm okay with that. Forgiven has fine lost soul lost waiting pit fine child keep close. That's the greater forge, which I haven't been to yet. With your blood and bones we will build an empire of living pain. Yeah. Oh god, these guys again.
Well. Let's see. The zombie lords or the mummy? The mummy was this caster. I killed mummy. Yeah. Flame arrow on that one. I don't suppose it would work. Do that. Hit defensive harmony, please. Righteous Wrath of the Faithful. Okay, we got How can I help? I stand ready. The idol. Well, that doesn't sound great. Me? What do you want? Kill. Very well. Okay. Well, we got some levels. There's saving throws. One more hit point because... I guess they didn't want to leave you feeling totally without hit points. The saving throw improvements are nice. Ooh, more mage spells. Oh, you're so close. You're, you're really close. Hang on. Wizard spells. Stone skin. Emotion hope. Plus two saving throws, attack rolls, damage rolls, nullifies hopelessness. That nullifies fear. Okay. Not sure what hopelessness means, but. Um, well, grab hold monster, see what that does. Ooh, now, ooh, six level. You could call a wyvern. Glow of invulnerability, why not? Oh, that's right, I was gonna rest an extra time to. Yeah, I forgot. My. my god, you have delivered us from such a terrible nightmare. I dreamt that I was swimming in pitch under a blood red moon. So much suffering have I caused, so much suffering must I endure to repay the debt of sin I've incurred. I am sorry that I sought to cause you harm. How did this happen? I am Perdiem, once a faithful priest of Ilmeter. I used to watch over a monastery of faithful priests and priestesses outside of Ilifarn. One day, a man came to the monastery. He said his name was Pokolin and that he had come to help us find the true faith of Ilmeter. There was something about his eyes, his voice, that hypnotized us. 
His voice was so commanding, so powerful, that we were swept up in his sermons with a disturbing passion. It frightened us, but we could not help but fall deeper into his web of deception. We abandoned dozens of sick and dying worshippers in the halls of our monastery. We went north, through the Kuldahar Pass. Many died, but at that point we no longer cared. All was done for the glory of Ilmater, for the propagation of the faith. Even as Pokelin became more fascist, more militant, we could do nothing to resist. Pokelin's idol had us enthralled. Those who resisted were drained of life and turned into the zombies who guarded this black temple. It used to be a temple to Baronar, Baronar True Silver, though you'd never recognize it now. I have not only committed blasphemy against my god, but against the proud mother goddess of the dwarves. I owe a great debt to many gods and people. Thank you for liberating my soul. Um, um, what can you tell us about it? You cause much pain and death on your madness. The path to recovery will be a long one, but our fight continues. What can you tell us about Pokolin? He is no priest of Ilmeter. He is a sorcerer of some sort. There is something cold and unnatural about his eyes. His skin, his hair, everything about him rings false. The way he walks, the way he holds himself, as though he is a stranger in his own body. Interesting. Healing? Don't really. Yeah, you know what? There. I don't even know how much. Oh. Oh, it's free. Screw that. Oh, there we go. There's some le the, the other levels. Okay. Nice. Really good. Hey, you got three whole hit points. I'm impressed. More mage spells. Two hit points. You guys aren't the ones with the best constitution. Interesting. Anyway, let's see. What should you memorize? Improved invisibility. Let's do another one of those. Phantom Blade, Chaos, Cloud Kill. Chaos could be good if I ever fight not the undead again. Like, this would be... Interesting. Um, plus four to armor class, plus two damage, one extra attack per round. Bonus hit points first. Doubles their hit points. No spells while transformed. We'll take it. Okay, there's is there anything back here I should I ooh. Oh. Yes. Look for traps, please. Because there's like actually stuff here. Don't think there was anything else. This looks like stairs, but I can't go up them. Okay. I am here. Okay, Brother Pradeem's badge. Four. Five. Oh, yeah, you're gonna hold all our badges. Five badges. One more. And we're all fatigued. Um, I am ready as always. Certainly. Speak. 
speak your mind. It shall be done. Huh. Well, that's a mystery. I, they, they were nothing. I hit open, they, nothing happened. There was nothing to get. <sighs> I, am I know you're fine. It's fine. You have, I Let's see. go see if we can speak to the other priests. Just don't yell at me too much. Forgive me for what I have done, O Father of Suffering. Though I do not deserve your clemency, I ask for your mercy at any cost to myself. Coter and Brace. Still saying the same thing. Who are you? Where am I? What have I done? I, I remember it all now. My shame, I remember. Thank you. Thank you for saving us. Brother Adson. He is crying, mumbling prayers of telemeter for forgiveness. Seems not to take notice of anything going on around him. Well, it's a good thing that all the undead things are dead. Uh, again. Are re re dead? I think I've had that trouble before. Huh. Oh, the demons of sleep hound me. I need rest. Your desire. You were the one. You're the one with the badge. I'm tired of trotting around I like a so. damn mule. Hush. Let's find an inn and some warm beds. No. Badge doesn't unlock it. Okay. I am by your side. I am in need of a good night's rest. Why are you guys so tired? Was it the, is it the, mm, is it the mo holy might thing that I just cast? Does that make you exhausted? Very well. Um, who is it that cast that one? Defensive harmony. Doesn't say anything about it. Okay, yeah, so that causes uh, fatigue when it wears off. Got it. Yes. I don't suppose I could just rest in here. You guys seem okay. Nope. <laughs> You were supposed to help me. What the hell? Right, it's a dangerous place. Sure, sure, sure. Alright, back to the watchtower. Which is where we were going in the first place. But So I guess it didn't hit Lien or Elmeron because they're not fatigued. Do and then I could go to the Greater Forge that way. I'm not sure which way would be faster. I think there's a way to the Greater Forge through there too. Certainly. Okay. Done. So I feel so if that's gonna cause exhaustion, I may Done. at that point I may as well also start casting haste. Combine the two. Alright, let's go to the Greater Forge through the temple, because that's Done. where I just was. One badge still. A 
as you wish. Artisans District. Lower Dorn Mines. Actually, let's go this far and then save the game. Not that I had a hard time in here, but I don't want to have to do it all over again. Yeah. Anything that's particularly good against elementals? I don't think I do. Weapon wise, anyway. So that's for iron golems. I think I had like a potion that might make you invisible to them, but. eh, whatever. Your time to turn this one down to size. Gosh, this is great. Oh, and now a fire elemental. Lava elemental? A different wish. kind of elemental. Fire You'll elemental. Sleep with the dead. Makes sense. Okay. Save game. Why not? And a water? Water elemental. Another fire elemental. Okay. God grant me strength. My sword uh, the is normal yours. arrows are ineffective. Please. Okay. I am here. Better. I see. Huge vat is filled with what appears to be exceptionally pure water. Oh, hi, salamanders. You guys Stand are here. And deliver. Have Probably the point where I should do something like fire resistance, but you know. Could. Huge vat is filled with molten rock. Exceptionally pure water. Probably summoning elementals from it. Save game. It's an interesting looking structure. Bears two symbols. One is a diamond surrounding two hands bound with red cord. The other is a circumscribed black unicorn's head. A fire giant. Great. Hi, Salamander. Your Make peace with your gods. gods. This is like the mines. What business do you have here? Um, here to see Midden Umadia. Go east from here until you reach her house at the edge of the lake. Okay. House at the edge of the lake. One of these, maybe? How do I... 
<laughs> I think you're supposed to come at this from, or at least these guys are expecting you to come at it from the lower Dorn mines. Real quick. Interesting. Very well. Is there? Oh, okay. Certainly. Here. This one. That one. I see. Come down here, please. Just you know, exploring all the un all the different ways I could get there. Looks like they're all kind of up. Except this is down. I don't. I don't really understand it. Ah, Prime Dweller, you have trod the wrong path. Primes who attempt to close these portals will die by the elements. We're not trying to close your portals not yet. I am not in the trusting mood today. Sure. Make peace with your gods. Your life is forfeit. Look, I tried to take the peaceful way out. The fire giants are much more reasonable somehow. Certainly. They must have missed the part where I murdered all their friends over here. Or maybe he didn't miss that part, and that's what he was upset about. So somehow... Oh, I see. You go down that way. So I can't get down there. I'm going to have to kill a bunch of fire giants, aren't I? Male guys... Sorry, sort of, about it. They tend to, the fire giants in D and D lore tend to be the types who take slaves and use them for their to work the forges. Well, they because they're kind of crafts giants. They make stuff, but they use slave labor to get all the stuff they need for it. So you know, I don't have a lot of sympathy for them. That's a big boat. Comprised entirely of metal, this unfinished ship appears to be a longboat built for giant oarsmen. Perhaps the very giants who are here. Maiden Ilmadia, who the hell are you? I'm Mara. May I have the honor of your name. The honor of my name? Well, since you're so nice. My name is Maiden Ilmadia. However, because you're so nice, you certainly can't belong down here. Marketh's friends are all uncultured idiots, and Malavon simply doesn't have any. Hard being the odd woman out, isn't it? You're a painfully small minority down here. What are you doing down here? Not that this is any of your business, but I suppose you're better company than the giants. My superior has requested that we dismantle the Great Forge. We are using the metal to construct a longboat of immense proportions. When the ship is finished, the giants will row it down the Great Lava Rapids just beyond that rock. From there, they will pick up speed and ram into the cavern wall roughly a quarter of a league away. When the wall breaks, the lava will pour into the large, low cavern beyond. In that cavern lies the Dark Elf city of Rilauven. Drow always flaunt their resistance to magic. Well, we'll see just how resistant they are to lava and giant 200-pound broadswords. <laughs> Pokolin wants to make sure our rear guard isn't crushed by those black-skinned schemers. Besides that, my job is pretty straightforward. In our spiritual time, Malavon and I are attempting to use Sablik Rotan's red wizard formula to create black unicorns. Once I locate the herd that occasionally mills around the severed hand, it should be simple enough to lure a few away with my virginity and to 
the help of a necklace that masks my true nature. It just goes to show that Pokelin was right. There's nothing that can't be corrupted in some way. Hail Ilmadur and all that. Ha! Ah. I think it's time you hand over your badge now. <laughs> can't give it to you. My work here is too important to give up. Now that I've refused... I'm going to assume that you're intended to take it by force. Please forgive me if you do. I don't wait for you to make the first move. Nope. Sorry about this, but um, you don't have a choice about me making the first move. I'm here. Going to assume that the giants are going to come and attack me, but also I'm assuming that she's a spellcaster. Or not. Oh, there it is. Give the word. Oh dear. By your side. You've taken some hits. I await your instructions. Start smacking. What do you want? What does this one do? Hit that real yeah. quick. You can try to finish her off. Magic arrows already. Potions. Thought we had some better potions. We have a bunch of potions of invisibility. This could go poorly. You have my undivided attention. What does prayer do? Saving throws. Poke me again, and you'll do it without fingers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flame strike is not going to be particularly good, I think. Go. I stand ready. Haste. Go. How can I help? I can't tell where you are. 
That guy. Enough. I mean it. I'm having a bad day. I await your instructions. I understand. Um, go hit that guy. Priest, I need a priest. My sword is yours. Look, jackass. Taunt somebody else. You have need of me. Your command. Stop doing that. Go down there. Okay. Well, how can I help? That's all happened. You have my undivided attention. Come loot her corpse. Here's the uh the badge. That's all the badges. Alamion plus three. This sword is part of a matched pair of weapons, the other being the short sword Malamion. Alamion's blade is slightly thinner than a typical longsword blade and features a thin fuller down the center. Acid etched snowflake patterns are scattered along the length of the blade, most of them concentrated toward the hilt. I know what a lot of this actually means because I've watched some Forged in Fire. <laughs> The hilt of the sword is made of bronze sandwiched between two off-white pieces of ivory carved to show clouds unleashing winds and snow. The grip is covered in mother-of-pearl lash securely in place with bronze wire. The pommel of the weapon is a solid bronze globe with the snowflake lozenge of oro etched into the bottom. The full history of this blade and its brother have, long, have been documented, roughly 200 years ago. A wizard from Shanath named Obrun the Left-Handed was hired to make a pair of swords for the glory of oro. Oberyn reluctantly did so, producing Al Alamian, Frost Daddy, and Malamian, Frost Baby, <laughs> over a five-year period. After a, a dispute about Oberyn's fee, priests of Oral tried to take the sword from him by force. The exact outcome of the battle is unclear, but Oberyn's swords did not end up in the hands of Oral's faithful. 
30 years later, a warrior named Berdino the Procampur bragged that he had a blade that could kill demons in a single strike. Berdino was found dead on the shore two ten days lady, later, the victim of many poisoned crossbow bolts. The new owner of Malamian was a vain, egotistical thief called Pellis the Fair. Pellis had acquired Malamian quite by accident 14 years earlier and strongly desired his brother when he learned of its existence. Pellis held on to the swords until he died at the hands of a paladin named Garajon Reynold of Torm. Garajon found the blades invaluable in his battles against the fiery denizens of the Outer Plains, and the two swords were passed on for generations from paladin to paladin. Heliban of Ithmong, a paladin of Tyr, was the last warrior known to have used the swords. His battles against slavers and pirates on the Sword Coast are believed to have brought him to an untimely end. Better fire resistance, worse cold resistance, good against salamanders. It's a plus three weapon. Sure. Black Swan Armor plus two, made by the Dwarven Smith Carador and the, an elven enchanter known as El... Elameth of Five Trees. During the time of cooperation between the Hand of the Seldrin and Dorne's Deep, many wondrous items were produced. The suit of armor was one of them. Exceptionally light and beautiful, the armor was originally worn by a female elven marshal in the Severed Hand, which is why the orcs didn't take it with them when they sacked the towers. The armor was later stolen from the Hand by Maiden Ilmadia. Plus one charisma, resistance to all of the elements, AC one. Minus two versus slashing. And a shield. The Argent Shield plus two once resided in the hand of the Seldarin, where it was used to protect its bearer from harmful magics and attacks because of its racial attunement. The marauding orcs and goblins left it in the tower. Maiden Ilmadia grabbed it from the ruins. Not usable by humans. So half or half elves and elves can use it. Anybody but uh, Mara. Gives 25% magic resistance. Is that better than the Rhino Beetle Shield? Is that better than the Shield of the Hand? Plus one versus missile attacks. You don't use shields. Yours is a plus three shield, so it's definitely not better than that, and you can't use it. Hmm. I guess it's, do I want magic resistance, or do I want fire resistance and missile attacks? Also. Who's using plate mail? You're using a plate mail. You're using a plate mail. Pass this over to you. Is this better? It is worse, somehow. I guess because that's full plate mail. You have Mithril Field Plate plus two. It's also worse. Okay, so that's no good. Don't care about that. This is a plus three sword. You've got a plus three sword. Um, you're using daggers. You're using this plus three axe. Okay. So, the hold fast gives you better armor class. This is a fantastic story, but I don't think it's particularly good. So, okay. No, oh, I got I got an achievement for getting the black swan armor. Of course. Neat. Some kind of halberd. Giant crossbow, some potions. I know we're all pretty tired. Certainly. Okay. I don't suppose I could just rest here to get rid of the exhaustion. Uh, okay, so. You can do this for two of us. Let's do it for Mara. You do it for her. You do it for yourself. And then these three will just have to deal. Okay. So, having done.
and done that. We'll save the game again. We're going to try resting. We rested. Okay, so we're at least not exhausted anymore. Speaking, by the way, let's, um, you've got your identification spells back. This is a repeating heavy crossbow plus three. And this is a starforged halberd plus three. Dex plus one. Chance of stun. Some resistances. It's a halberd. None of my people use halberds, really. Okay, so we came through, we killed everybody here. Again. They're not very conducive to just not being evil, I guess. Uh, we got a we got a good plan. We're gonna we're gonna murder a bunch of people. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, Unless I kill you first. You did attack me. It's not... It's not unreasonable, is it? Very well. Okay, so... Where am I going? I got all six badges. And I've got a journal. Sculptor, food to a watchtower, halfling named Seth. Yeah, he's dead. Group of people in the caverns. Frost giants are sacrificing slaves. Contic, Vera, Lorel. Important events. This is like I feel like this is the important events, the journal. But like, it's not telling me what I'm where I'm supposed to go. I don't remember where I was supposed to go. <laughs> the Obliet, Gem Cutter's house, Marketh's palace. Possibly the palace? I know we needed to get all six Done. badges. We got all six badges. With all six badges, we could go see Pokolin. Maybe he's. Maybe I can go up the. Oh, you know what? I bet it's the Fallen Temple. Now that I have all six badges, I bet I can click that thing. Yeah, that's it. That's gotta be it. Okay, let's go rest. Guys, it's just stairs. It's not even stairs. It's a ramp. Perfect. I see. All right, let's go. Done. Okay. That's that's what it is. Those those six things I could press and the one was locked. Uh, it's not locked. It's just that I I there were six things. I had five badges, so I clicked all the ones that I had badges for. I didn't have the last badge, and that will probably open the staircase, and that's where I can go see Pokolin. 
So we're going to go that far. Very well. We'll go that far and then I'm going to call it an episode. So. says to Ascension Cave. Certainly. That's okay, so it's like a unicorn. I can very vaguely make out what the symbols were. She wanted to corrupt a unicorn for reasons. Yep, and now I can go up these stairs. Cool. Save game. So next time, we'll go up the stairs and see what this Brother Pokelin is all about. I'm betting he's a demon of some kind. <laughs> or at least possessed. <laughs> at the very least, he's possessed. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.